Hi, welcome to this recording of SAP Data Warehouse Cloud describing the hybrid scenario of connecting SAP Data Warehouse Cloud to an on-premises or a HANA cloud-based SQL Data Warehouse system. To get started, I'd like to walk you through the environment we're going to leverage within this recording. I'm logged into the SAP Cloud Platform cockpit and connected to my space where you can see the current service instances up and running. So let's move on to log on to the SAP Web IDE full stack version. As this is a full stack version running in either an on-premises environment or based on HANA Cloud, we have the full stack capabilities available, including the adapters connected to a DP agent to load data into your SQL data warehouse environment. Let's get started and create a new project from template. I'm going to se select a multi-target application and give it a name. Let's type next and finish. A new project will be created within the context of the Web IDE workspaces. Next, I'm going to create a database module because we're interested to build an SQL-based data warehouse system, so we require a database module. Let's give it a name, just call it DB. The namespace is proposed. You can also assign a schema name. And on the database version, you can specify where you want to build the HDI container to. If you're running in on-premises environment, you can pick and choose your on-premises HANA 2.0 version, or if you're interested to build within the HANA Cloud environment. I'm going to select HANA Cloud for this use case. The database module gets added to my project. Let's get started to build the HDI container where as a prerequisite, we need to apply the project settings. And within Cloud Foundry, we need to specify the API endpoint we want to connect to to execute the build, the creation of the HDI container. Select the organization you want to build it to and also the assigned space. Once done, save and close. And we're good to go to create the database module, like creating the HDI container. Let's switch, switch back to the HANA Cloud Platform Cockpit to validate um, the current existing instances. OK, so we're back in Web IDE. And what we're going to do right now is kick off the build to have the HDI container created. We can monitor the process if we switch back to the SAP Cloud Platform cockpit, where we see and identify the new container being created. The status is in process creating. It takes a moment until the status switched to create it. Let's go back to the web IDE. The build process is still running and finally switched to complete it. In the meantime, I'm I was preparing additional content within the database module. So within the source folder, I added information like source data connection. As this is a full stack web IDE, you have the ability to load data straight into your project. So leveraging all the adapters available by the DP agent or supported by HANA Cloud. And of course, you can also use the built-in graphical editors to create an existing uh, calculation view. So this is the calculation view I'm re referring to by joining uh, data from the sales order items table and the sales order header table. 
So let's get started and build those database artifacts. Now, within the previous created HDI container, the additional database artifacts will be deployed. And it completed successfully. To validate, we can open the HDI container, so we'll switch to the connected database explorer. And the new created container is being assigned to this environment. Once we click on the column views, the created sales order items calculation view becomes visible. Once you run a, sec a SQL statement like a select drag and drop the calculation view. You can get it executed and the data is going to be displayed by executing the calculation view. All right, we're almost done here. So we created a new HDI container by creating a project and assigning some content in terms of database artifacts to be deployed within that HDI container. Now, next step would be to get the information on how to connect Data Warehouse Cloud to this external created HDI container. We'll back into the SAP Cloud Platform cockpit. And this is the HDI container being created by our project. Once you click on this one, we'll get down to the service instance. And once you switch to service key, you get the information on how to connect to this HDI container. The host name is listed, the port is listed, and there are also two type of HDI users pre-populated. Make sure you pick and choose the user with the trailing RT for runtime and also choose the according password. Next step would be to log on to SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. I'm logged on and I have a space prepared called Data Warehouse Cloud Connect to HANA SQL Data Warehouse. I have users assigned already and I also have a local connection created where now I'd like to connect to the remote HDI container. We create a connection by choosing the HANA adapter, we'll give it a business name pick and choose the according data provisioning agent. And now we need to go back to the service key to pick and choose the host name and the port. Let's take the according user. Again, make sure to use the trailing RT user as runtime. And also copy paste the pre-generated password. Once done, create the connection. Within this step, we're connecting Data Warehouse Cloud to the remote HDI container environment. You can give it a try to validate if the connection is successful and valid, and it's indicated, indicated in the lower part of the screen. Now, let's go on and switch to the data builder to create a nice graphical view. Within the source section, you do see the connections assigned to the space. The HDI container sales connection is the one we just created. Let's drill down into the HDI container. Within tables, you do see the according tables we created within our project. And within view, you do get the access to the calculation view. 
Let's give it a try and connect to the HDI container calculation view. Get it imported and the deployment is going on to create the remote connection connecting to the HDI container calculation view. Deployment has been successfully completed. And once you run the preview, Data Warehouse Cloud is connecting to the remote HDI container to display the according data. Due to the flexibility of creating models within Data Warehouse Cloud, of course, you do have the ability to consider a different connection, like a HANA database connection, and pick and choose objects you're interested to join with the previously selected HDI container calculation view. In this case, we're interested to join data related to product with the calculation view. Let's import the connection and get the product table assignment deployed to Data Warehouse Cloud. So the deployment has been successfully completed. And once we want to preview the data by joining the products coming from the HANA database connection and the calculation view from the HDI container, we do see the preview on the, on the join results. Once you're interested to move on, we can give it a name on the output node view, like sales order, HDI calculation view combined with products. We allow consumption and we switch to the analytical data set to pick and choose the according measures to be assigned to the view. Let's take those measures and also quantity. And we are done here. So let's deploy this graphical view. The deployment is going on and it takes a moment to complete. Now status has changed to deployed. As the last step, I'd like to create a story connecting to the analytic data set we just created. has been added to the story. Let's create a nice chart by choosing the according measures and also adding the according dimensions, like fiscal year period, sales work, and some product information like product ID and product category. On the left, you do see the view on the data using the Data Warehouse Cloud model, which was created by connecting data from the HDI container calculation view and the remote data HANA connection related to product information. Thank you for watching this recording.